All right, good morning. Today is Friday, May 6th, 2022, and I'm on NQ again. And it seems like uh, most people are liking this format of me trading, recording my trade session and then doing a voiceover on it. Um, I think I like it better too. <laughs> So I'm going to continue doing it this way, and it makes my videos a lot shorter. And actually, today is a, a real good reason why I'm doing it this way, because uh, if you look here, my trading session was 53 minutes, and I took no trades today. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I guess a upfront warning is you're not going to see me take a trade. And this goes along with my money management and discipline. I'm going to make that that di uh, discipline video here pretty soon within the next couple of days. So I ha I'll have it uploaded on how I, you know, was able to take control of my discipline. My opinion is 99% of traders that fail is because of a lack of discipline and money management. There's many trading strategies. Many of them work. The market's the market. People blow their accounts because of bad decisions and bad discipline. That's my opinion, um, along with a lot of other professionals' opinions. <laughs> so today is a great example of discipline in my position. Um, there was none of my trade setups. There's a beautiful simplicity run. The NQ market dropped over 100 points after the news came out at 8.30. I'm sorry. Yeah, 8.30. Um, no, 7.30. 8.30. I'm in Central Time, and I like to keep all the times um, Eastern Time. So, yeah, it was 8.30 this morning, Eastern Time. Um, you see, I get got started here at 8.24, 8.25, about five minutes before the news came out. So, I'm going to start playing here. Um, and this is going to be a quick video. It's going to be a short one, uh, because I didn't take a trade, but I just want to show you why I didn't take a trade. I only look for low risk entry simplicity trades. Okay. If you don't know what simplicity is again, go to apexinvesting.com forward slash bootcamp. You will learn this system that I trade. In my opinion, it's the best system in the world. Um, it's just amazing, but I'm reading the market here, and as I mentioned yesterday, there's the market always does this. You have a top here. There was a top. It came up, broke through, retested it, stayed up above, and this is a deviation line here, minus 2.5 deviation, came back down. So it's kind of hovering around here. At this point, when I get started, I analyze the market. I see what's going on. And I'm trying to pinpoint, you know, where are we in a trend currently? Um, is it in a range currently? If it's in a range, I'm waiting for a breakout, basically. If it's in a nice trend already, then I look at my simplicity chart and see, have we had one LRE, two LREs already, which is a pullback of the trend. And if we've had two already, then I wait for the trend to stop, basically range a little bit, chop, and then go on another trend. That's all my trading is, is a pullback of a strong trend, um, which is taught in Apex. Um, that's a simplicity trade. So if you'll see up here on the top left, this is all the news coming out at 8.30. Non-farm employment change, unemployment rate, and average hourly earnings. These three for NQ is going to impact it extremely high, and you'll see. So I'm just going to fast forward it here a little bit um, because I know news is coming out. It's 827 now. Three minutes news is coming out. I do not want to be stuck or caught in a trade, especially during that news. So I'm going to fast forward it here until we see the news break. Look at that. Here's the market. News comes out, and watch it just go. It's flying. Imagine being in a short <laughs> when that news broke. You know, when when the news comes out, the algorithms, the algos of the institutions out there, 
they just fire off. So you don't really know exactly if it's going to go long or short. So you just want to be out. So basically, at this point, I'm waiting until it settles down a few minutes. And I, I pull up the simplicity chart here to show you. This was that kind of a range here to the left. And then it just shot up. Right? And now it's kind of pulled back. But I mean, look at this, this shoot up. It was about 12,800, a little less. Shot up about, whew, uh, man, a 90 points or so it really shot up there you can see this thing's just zipping around you don't want to be trading in this and like I said there was a beautiful simplicity trade I personally don't trade simplicity the the simplicity trailing trade where you take the initial simplicity entry and you trail it down I personally like to just take the low risk entries that's where I'm comfortable. That's what I'm good at. I'm really good at reading those. And I've learned the hard way. You got to do what you're good at. <laughs> sure, a day like today, you would have been able to grab a beautiful simplicity run and make a ton of money. I used to feel like I was missing out on those. Until the days, let's see, I pulled up my 30 tick chart here for a reason. Uh... Let's see, what was I going to, okay. So I pulled up my 30 tick chart here to show you. We had ODD where the price went up higher than the previous high, right? Made a higher high on 68% of the volume. That bar closed down and left a ZOI crash. A ZOI is a zone of interest. So when you have this teal blue color with this purplish color here, on top of each other, that's a crash. It crashed there. With ODD, this bar closed down. Now, I'm I'm actually not going to... I am I would not be looking for a long right now. I'm looking to go short. And I'm thinking, okay, let's find a simplicity entry. Let's, let's, let's wait for simplicity to go short. Hopefully, it'll pull back. And my target would be somewhere down here, either... Either this thick wall or come back down to settlement. So that's what I'm looking at. And then I pull up the 50 tick continuum chart to show that that was also a double top on that chart. Triple, actually. See, we got a triple. It was here. Did that run down. Came up. Hit pretty close to the same area, pulled back right at about the same area, gave that little bit higher ODD on that 30 tick chart that I showed with the ZOI crash, then it's coming down. So, you know, I would be expecting this to run down quite a bit. And then we'll see if that actually happens. So it does. And now it's forming a simplicity short here. Got both lines angling down and red. About 10 seconds left on this bar. As long as it closes like this, and then the next bar breaks the low, then we're going to have an entry like so. Now there's a simplicity short, and it's running down. Now, now what I want it to do is run down further, Pull back and give me an LRE. This rundown was so strong, it never did that. <laughs> it just kept going down. Look at this. I'm just fast forwarding here because, I, like I said, I didn't take a trade. I don't want this to be a long video. Um, I pull up the chart here. Look at this. Ah. Look at this simplicity chart here. It's just running down. An LRE is basically when it pulls back up to this solid line. So, for example, this is would be the current bar, right, that we're on. An LRE, low risk entry, would pull back to the solid line of the previous bar, which is this one. So, when price pulls back up to about right here, that's whenever I would look and see if there's any other confirmations for me to say, okay, it will, in fact, bounce from there and continue down. I need either HD 
or some kind of level to bounce off of, or even if it's an ODD, if, if it's in my favor to come down, something to tell me it's going to continue down. That's my entry. That's the low risk entry. As you can see, it never did that. <laughs> so what did I do? I sat there and I used to, what I was going to say earlier is I used to see this, I would see a simplicity running down like this and say, oh my gosh, look at all those ticks I'm missing. Oh man, I need to get, I need to trade this. I need to do it. And then that fear of missing out, you hop in or you do something stupid because I mean, look at it. It's just a beautiful run down. If you would have taken this simplicity trade, I mean, you could have grabbed <laughs> a few hundred ticks for sure. But I have zero um, regret in me or I don't even know the word I'm looking for. But I have I don't feel anything about that anymore because of my discipline and money management. It doesn't. There's been too many times where I've seen something like today, then you say, oh man, I got to do simplicity. And I've seen way too many other people do this. And then the next day they 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 say, oh, I'm going to trade simplicity today. They take the simplicity trade. Well, guess what? That day did not trend or run the same way as the day before. It was a rangy, choppy day and they got chopped out into multiple blown accounts. I have done this. I, you know, there's... You got to have money management when it comes to simplicity as well. Also, you have to know when to not take them. So that's why I love LREs, low risk entries, because I can spot them better. I can read the market better. It's already, I've already confirmed we're in a trend. I'm just looking for a pullback and a confirmation that it's going to continue the trend. For me, that's so much easier, easier for me to manage, uh, less stress. And that's how I've gotten funded accounts by doing that so i'm um, just gonna fast forward a little more because literally nothing happens it just it's still reacting on news it's basically coming all the way back down to where it was before the news and then it's gonna it just keeps running see it's just still running this was a pullback but an lre would have needed to pull back up to here not close enough there was nothing there this pulled back too so Okay, so here's another thing. Towards the end of this run, it does actually give an LRE, but I didn't take it because there's too many reasons not to take it. Plus, on this big run, if you see it ran down here, it did pull back. This is a big pullback. You know, this is about 760 pulled back up here to about 8085, and that's a 2025 point pullback, right? Even though it doesn't qualify for a low risk entry, that's a big pullback. And then it continues down, does a little bit of chopping, continues down. And we have a little bit of a pullback here too. Even though it's not an LRE, it's still a pullback. You got to be aware of that. And then it's running down. Because when it gets to the end of this run, I don't want to take an LRE at the end. Because that could be the end. <laughs> and it might not keep going down. Um, so let me fast forward. It's still doing. See, now it's, I mean, this. look at this range. It's just... 715 on up to 755. I mean, it's just a big zone here. I don't I don't like it. Fast forward, fast forward. You see nothing happens. I don't take a trade. This is why. And I would much rather end today with a zero tick win or loss than a mistake in losing a lot. I guess I don't bring no, I don't bring the chart back up the simplicity, but yeah, so that's it. I mean, you got to know when to not trade also. And in my opinion, you need to have a limit on your trading time. If you give yourself all day long to trade, you'll eventually take a trade and it might not be a trade you want. I personally give myself about an hour a day to trade. That's it. If I can't get my trades in an hour, I don't need to be trading I, I don't need to sit there for multiple hours because then I'll do something stupid. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, potentially. So that's just the way, you know, how I feel. And uh, hope this can help somebody. And today is Friday. So everybody have a great weekend and I will see you Monday. Take care.